from John Legend to Coldplay's Chris Martin have been live streaming concerts from their homes to keep fans' spirits up during the lockdown. But one Scottish rock band has taken the idea just a little bit further. Del Mitri have announced they'll play a free gig for NHS workers at the end of 2020 to say thank you for their efforts throughout the pandemic. We'll be speaking to the band's frontman, Justin Curry, in just a second. But first, let's have a quick reminder of their music. And I'm delighted to say Justin Curry, the frontman of Delamitri, joins us live. Now, Justin, thanks very much for your time. We've been mentioning some singers, maybe too many singers, have been playing live through this crisis from their front rooms. Why did you decide to do something different? Um, well, we were, uh, we've been dying to play Balans in December for, for, for years and years and years, and we wanted, we wanted something to look forward to. And how, how is it going to work then? This is for NHS staff only, or, or are you trying to fundraise for the NHS? It's, it's, for, it's just for staff. So um, it's, it, people could buy two, two tickets each, I think, and um, they can bring a friend and show, if they show an NHS pass at the door, basically. But, but basically it's giving something back to the nurses and the doctors and so on, right? It's, it's a gesture. It's something. So, so tell us, Justin, is it just going to be you guys that, that's playing the gig? Or are you enlisting the help of any friends? Who, who will they get to see? Well, a mate of ours called Tom McCree got on the uh, blower pretty quickly after it was announced and offered his services. So, yeah, Tom McCree um, should be opening for us. And you said you were desperate to play the Barrowlands in December. I mean, so many bands from all around the world will tell you that the Barrows is just the greatest venue in the world, the greatest they've ever played. Why, why is it so special? What, why has it got such a place in your heart? Well, my theory is it's because it's got a weird arched ceiling. Um, <laughs> the audience, the, when the audience make a noise, it's kind of quadrupled on the stage. So you get into this kind of positive feedback look with it. The band get really overexcited because the audience are so loud on the stage because all the sound just gets, gets reflected back down into the room. So I think that's why you end up getting these magical gigs in violence because the bands just get really thrilled by the noise. And it's got that famous sprung floor as well, hasn't it? And a bar yeah. that goes the length of the venue, which doesn't do the atmosphere any harm at all, I'm sure. <laughs> no, in fact, there's two bars in the room. And that, the, more bars, the more bars in a room when you're doing a gig, the better, if you ask me. <laughs> But they take very good care of that floor. If you stay, I, I usually stay to the end of the gigs and uh, watch them sweep it all up. And then they come in the next day and they give it a really good polish. So it's, it's in very, very good nick. Justin, I don't want to be too pessimistic. It's a, a great thing that you are doing. But do you have any concerns that, you know, by December, we might not actually, you know, be allowed to be congregating in big crowds or, or anything like that? I have no idea. So you can either <laughs> not, make, not make plans because there is no future or you can make plans and see what happens. So we thought the latter was maybe uh, the best of the two options. Yeah, and, and I mean, you said that you wanted to play the Barras in December. That had been a long-standing ambition, but presumably there was some altruism in here as well. You wanted to do something for the NHS. Just give us an idea as to why you wanted to put something back in. How have you been feeling this last month or so when we've been watching this whole thing develop? Well, it's hideous. And um, like everybody else, swinging between abject panic and just a feeling of amusement. Um, I mean, we we tried to make it for care staff as well, but that was going to be tricky. And uh, I mean, there are all sorts of people in the front line. The NHS is the most obvious. So that just see, it seemed like the obvious thing to do. So if you're an NHS worker watching, sell it to them. How do, how do they get involved with this, Justin? Well, the, the tickets went in eight minutes. So oh, um, wow. they've, they've gone. They've gone. I mean, I would say sold out, except they're free. So... It, um, <laughs> But yes, they're, they have gone into the, the, the hands of the people that wanted them. Oh, well, brilliant. It's a good thing that you're doing and good on you. And everybody can look forward to December. And fingers Thank crossed, for crossed. pity's sake, let us be back at gigs by December. <laughs> that would be nice, yeah. Justin Curry, good luck with everything and thanks a lot for joining us this evening. Take care. Very nice speaking to you. Thanks a lot. Bye. Cheers. Now, here's Christopher Vanchett with the weather. Hello there. Well, some sunshine around today, albeit rather hazy at times. Overnight tonight, largely dry and cloudy. Cool, but not as cold as last night. Town and city temperatures 3 to 5 Celsius, milder for the coast and across the Isles. To tomorrow, we have high pressure just starting to drift southwards, a tightening of the isobars in the north, so strong winds here in a cold front bringing yet more cloud and a few spots of rain around the north coast and across the northern Isles. Across uh, the course of Wednesday, the cloud 
tending to drift southwards, but really southern Scotland, eastern Scotland seeing some sunshine. Much of England and Wales, Northern Ireland too, dry and fine with temperatures around about the mid to high teens. For us by mid-afternoon, well in the sunshine if you live towards the far south and indeed across eastern Scotland up to around about the mid-teens, cooler in the west and northwest, thicker cloud. Looking ahead, this is Thursday, high pressure still with us, but a cold front, this stripe of cloud trapped in between. So um, actually a lot of cloud around once again. Sunny though in the far north and once again in the far south and across England and Wales, some sunshine lifting temperatures up to around 20 or 21 degrees. For us by mid-afternoon, there's that area of cloud producing the odd spot of drizzle at times to the north of it, sunny and cool to the south of it, some bright skies and temperatures around about the high teens. Come Friday and we develop an east-southeasterly wind as those winds come over the cold North Sea. It will mean quite a chill around some uh, North Sea coast, milder further west. That's the forecast for now. Now, the nature of many jobs has changed in the wake of coronavirus and that's especially true if you're a physiotherapist. In the latest in our Postcards from Scotland series, we hear from one Aberdeen-based physio about the creative solutions she's had to find to treat patients remotely. Hi, my name is Ali Anthony and I am a physiotherapist at the Wallace Practice, which is a private physiotherapy clinic in Aberdeen. Since the government asked the public to limit all non-essential contact, we made the decision to close the clinic. 